what's going on 22 here with my Huntsville comic and pop culture expo haul so I'm splitting this up this is gonna be the part one of two series this one being my PC books and the next one being my spec haul so let's get started let's jump into this. there's a lot of books so let's check them out first uh, little set up that we got I got some brave and the bold books this is issue 121 right here these were all in really good shape and this is one of those runs that I'm looking to get like a lot of the Batman like books of this there's also like a bunch of keys in here that I'd like to get as well this is 139 I just love this series I think it's something different than like actually trying to collect Batman volume one I can usually find these books for a really really good price like it doesn't seem like people look for these this is 170 they also have really cool covers and just seeing Batman like team up with these other characters is just, I don't know, it's interesting. 188. Next one was a cover by Strictly. This is Civil War 2, issue number one, but it is a variant. And I just love this like old fight style look. Uh, it was just really cool. I've seen it before. And I can't remember whose channel I'd seen it on. And it's just it's just super cool book. Cover. I've been dying to get the Virgin variant of this book. I found this book for a really good deal. It is not near mint or anything like that. Um, but I'm still like super excited to have it in my collection. This is Deadpool 13. And it makes no sense, honestly. But the artwork is just simply amazing. Like the Virgin variant of this is just it's so, so awesome. This one's a book that I've been looking out for, and they had like actually a fat stack of them, and so I picked one out that looked really good. I think it's interesting. It's cool. I like the cover. Doctor Strange Fate number one. It's one of those amalgam books. I don't think anything's going to come of this. This is just something that I wanted for the PC just because I thought it was interesting. Very surprised to find these at the price that I did, but Flashpoint number three? And Flashpoint number four. I've been trying to collect the Flashpoint run, all of its tie-ins as well. This was one of these were two I think I needed, but I'm not positive. So if I don't need them, then they'll go back out. So on to like my Grail run. I've been working on trying to you know put more effort into it this year. This is the Invincible Iron Man number 37. It was a really nice copy for a really good price. Invincible Iron Man number 71 that I'm actually kind of mad about on this one. I got a really good deal on it. However, it has got water damage like here and below. It's just all kinds of rain. It's in the staples that rusted. So this will be a good project book. It's at least a space filler for right now until I can get a better copy. Super excited that I got this in the PC, especially when I did. This is a really nice copy. It does need a press. Invincible Iron Man number 118. This is the first appearance of Rhodey. This is a book that I've put off getting for the longest time. Found it for like $25. And then the guy that I bought it from gave me gave me like five. Like it was another this one and another book for five bucks. In fact, it was this book right here, 126. Uh, he was selling this for $5. And he gave me both for 25 So essentially I got this book for free. I'm, I'm super happy with that. I mean, the, the roadie book for less than 30 bucks is that was a total win for me. It was in really good shape. Iron Man number 133. Oh, I'm so mad at myself now. Uh, this was a nice looking book. I hope it still is. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Another little mini run that I want to collect is the Doctor Strange appearances in the Marvel Premiere series. This is Marvel Premiere number nine. So this is a good looking book. Got it for a really good deal as well. I was really surprised at the deals that I was able to get that weekend that we were there. There were some booths that had really, really good deals and like would work with you on price. I think I offered a price for every one of the, the lots that I bought pretty much. And everybody took it like there was really no haggling at all and then some booths were sh like way to me they were a good bit overpriced and I was like 
y'all like I understand you took time and effort to like to, to adjust your prices but I think you're late on it that's just my opinion but I'm just saying I think they're late another run that I'm working on mr. miracle here's mr. miracle number seven shout out to digger Jim he is also working on this miracle run as well another cover buy this is one that I missed didn't pick up when it came out new but I think I got it for two dollars less than two dollars Moon Knight black white and blood number one this is an awesome cover my honey came like probably two-thirds into the con she came by and she was digging through a box next to me and she found this book right here and I was super the, the price on it was right and just I was pretty excited to get this book this is a six million dollar man number one from Charlton Comics and it's the first appearance of the six million dollar man in comic books I think he had it for five dollars I wound up getting it for a little less than that so yeah pretty excited about that one it's it's a little beat up but I think a press can do it good and uh outside of that it's just I don't know it was cool to me. I liked it. I found this, like, little mini run. And I'm trying to get the whole series. In, like, a, a $2 bin that if you got three, they give it to you for five bucks. So, like, $1.30 a piece or something like that. Anyways, it's Southern Southern Bastards. This is by Jason Aaron. Here's issue eight. Issue 11. Jason Aaron is from Alabama. So, that's really cool. Here's issue 13. We actually read the Jason Aaron Thor little run on uh, the, the God Butcher run and um, the God Bomb run, if I'm not mistaken, for the podcast. Issue 14. And I really like his storytelling. It's like super, super awesome. Issue 15. Issue 16. So with him being from Alabama and then writing a book called Southern Bastards, I was like, oh, I've got to get my hands on this. I've got to read this. Uh, here's issue 17. Issue 18. 19. And 20. I think I'm like five or so issues away from having this complete series so that's exciting another cover by another book that i missed out on that i really wanted was this uh art germ strange cover i want this in the virgin but i when i saw this again it was another dollar 30 buy i was like yes absolutely i want that so excited to have that these these are all like run filler things that i was like picking up here is Strange Adventures number 212. I'm, I'm trying to get the Dead Man appearances in Strange Adventures, and this one was going to fill one of those holes. Um, it's not normally a copy that I would buy, but considering the price and how well the spine actually did look in the corners and stuff, I, like, I went ahead and grabbed it. I think there was an $8 sticker on it, and I got it for, I want to say, around $6.00. Swamp Thing number seven. This is a big one right here. Go on my Swamp Thing run. If I'm not mistaken, this is where uh, Swamp Thing and Batman team up. Swamp Thing 49. Either the first appearance or the first cameo of the Justice League Dark. So that'd be a good one to do a cameo or first appearance. Uh, video on last book up this is tales of suspense number 86 on top of finishing out my iron man volume one run because that's the only actual volume i have left to like finish on all the iron man books outside of like some limited series stories i'm also working on the tales of suspense i don't i'm not focused on this one as much but when i saw this one for the price and the condition i i had to get it like I said, Tales of Smith 86. Pretty cool. Captain America cover. So, yeah. Let me know down in the comments which was your favorite cover or favorite book that I picked up. 
Uh, thank y'all so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. You can find me on a podcast called Comically Comics. Drops every Monday wherever you listen to podcasts. You can also find me on Instagram and eBay at 22 underscore comics. Be on the lookout for part two where I show all my spec books. I'm going to put what I bought for them and the fair market value for those. So that'll be something really cool to look out for. Once again, thank y'all so much for watching. And as always, y'all have a good one. Mm -hmm.